I, and I was wondering, if we already have trouble holding on to the handrails on a bus when it makes a turn, these NASCAR drivers could probably feel so much more of the force. The forces on them would be pretty strenuous. Well, they are seated down and you are standing up. To add to that, those guys are in seat belts and proper harness. Which brings me to ask, why do you think there is a force acting on these drivers when they make a turn, even though there's no change in speed? Mm, hang on, let me think about this question step by step. Okay. Okay, so if there is a force, then there must be acceleration, right? Right. And if there's acceleration, then it means that there's a change in speed, correct? Speed? Are you sure acceleration is connected to speed? Ah, no, 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 no. It's velocity. <laughs> acceleration is defined as the rate of change of velocity over time. So that means if there's a force, then it means that there is acceleration. And if there's acceleration, that means velocity is changing, correct? Yes, indeed. So that means in those cars, velocity is constantly changing for them since they are constantly experiencing a force. Very good. But since those cars travel at the same speed and yet are constantly experiencing velocity changes, this means that while the magnitude of velocity is the same, their direction changes. And this is the only way velocity is constantly changing. Well done. Well done. Speed has no direction. It is a scalar. Velocity is a vector. It has a direction and a magnitude. It can be affected in both direction and magnitude by acceleration, which is also a vector. So in short, the speed of the car can remain constant, but the velocity can change as the car changes direction. Excellent. For today's topic, we will be touching on the concept of circular motion. NASCAR has given us an excellent example of how circular motion works. 